What's up guys, this is Brad from Keepers of the River. Tying a little Emerger slash dry fly for you guys tonight. It's a clink hammer, um, blue winged olive. What we're tying this on is a Daiichi 1160 in a size 18 for the purposes of this video, but usually we tie this pattern in a size 20 or a size 22. So what we wanna do is we're gonna be starting out with white UTC 70, because uh, we're gonna be tying the body of this fly with supreme hair or super hair, whatever you want to call it. And that white is required for the true color of the supreme hair to show through. So start your UT70 and wind down the hook. Once we get down here towards the base, um, we're going to tie in a little bit of white CDC. Um, this fly I'm using Nature Spirit CDC in white and uh, just need one feather. What you can do on this is kind of preen some of these fibers back, do a pinch wrap, and then one wrap over that, and then that'll allow you to pull this CDC to length there. And we just want a really short little shuck on this. That's all we want. And what that CDC does is it traps air bubbles and uh, creates a really uh, convincing looking shuck on these. So after you've wrapped the CDC, we're gonna wrap the feather all the way back up to where we started our thread. And that'll create a nice um, uniform taper on that body. Once we get back up here, um, we're gonna be tying in our Supreme hair. And uh, what we're using this, this is Wopsy Supreme hair. Super hair work just the same. We're doing two strands of olive, one strand of black to create the segmentation. You may have seen us do this same technique on our Boise Midge video. Uh, like I said before, I really like using super hair for segmentation of dry flies and nymphs. Um, this is you know, a technique I learned from Charlie Craven on his Juju Betis and his uh, Juju Midge flies. So once you have your two strands of olive, one strand of black, do a little pin trap up top here, and then you're gonna tie this super hair on the near side of the hook towards you, all the way back to our shuck. Once we get back to our shuck, give your bob on a counterclockwise spin. You can also cut your super hair off. Nice and close. And um, the counterclockwise spin is going to open up our thread and make it nice and flat. And that's gonna give us a nice uniform underbody here to wrap our super hair up with. So first wrap of the super hair, you can kind of make it high. Use your fingernails to push it down to the very bottom right above your shuck. And then you're just gonna wrap nice and uniform next to each other all the way back up this fly. We here at Keepers of the River, we like to tie in a busy household. Hi, what are you eating, dude? And uh, we're just gonna tie all the way back up this. And this is gonna create a nice segmented uniform body. And um, you can coat this body in Loon uh, UV resin, like a, the Flow or uh, even the Thin will work. Um, and that creates a really nice effect and also helps protect that super hair in the body a little bit as well. So once you've got <clears throat> your body nice and tied off, <clears throat> you see that creates a nice segmentation effect. Now we're going to actually switch threads to uh, a Uni ADOT thread. I have another bobbin already ready here. And I just kind of wrap out over my white and then cut that off. Now we can reorientate our uh, hook in the vise to where that shank's nice and flat. And this is where we're gonna do the body of our fly. So um, what I'm gonna do here is for our parachute post, we're actually also going to use CDC for the parachute posts, but you can use, um, if you don't like CDC, I know some people don't like using CDC for their posts, 
You can also use poly yarn or, or a calf body or whatever you choose. Uh, this pattern, we use the CDC. So I'm going to take two of these uh, CDC feathers in white and I'm just going to tie them right in the middle where I want my post to be. I'm going to take a few wraps to secure them and then we're going to fold them over and this, this is where we're going to do our post. Hold your CDC, just use nice tension. Start working up the post here. <clears throat> the CDC can kind of be a little tricky to post sometimes, so it takes, might take a little practice, but. You see here, just start posting that. It's kind of hard to see in the video here. But do a nice post on it, and then Make sure it's where you want it. And then we're going to bring our thread right at the back of our parachute there. And at this point, we're going to do our, uh, our hackle on this. Um, our hackle that we're using on this one is a Whiting Farms quarter sackle. It's um, in a dark dun color. And uh, you see we've stripped away some of the <clears throat> stripped away some of that just to create a nice little tie-in and just tie it on on the near side to you and then take this and tie it up your post and then after you've tied it up your post we can clip off the excess that we have and that's done Okay, so once we have that tied in, now we can add our dubbing. Um, our dubbing on this is a just a Wopsy uh, super fine and a blue winged olive color. Um, you can use gray as well. Muskrat gray is another color I use for these. And uh, we're going to dub our body here. So create yourself just a nice little dubbing noodle. Move that up here. And then we're going to dub. We're going to dub our body and then bring our thread right behind our parachute. Now, what we can do is start wrapping our parachute. I'm going to show you a little trick here to get really clean parachute flies. So, wrap your hackle all the way down your post and then bring your thread. And bring your thread here and you're going to put your thread between that last wrap on your post between the last wrap on your post there and between the other wraps so right on top of this tag in, do about three wraps that's all you need to do and then cut your hackle off close And then we're going to take, you, if you have a little bobbin needle or whatever you, know, you have, I use the little end of my whip finish tool here. You're just going to take the smallest dab of super glue, put it on a little post-it note or something. Just the smallest dab. You, you, know, you probably can't even see it on the video. And then we're just going to run super glue right on the back of our thread wrap there. And then, just cut your tying thread off close. We got a few errant ones here. Kinda didn't give it the greatest wrap on the back of this. But what that's gonna do um, is that's actually gonna meld all those thread wraps together and um, you will never have this come apart on you. I can't tell you how many of these I've ever fished and I've never had them fall apart. Um, and what you do here is choose the length on your parachute, clip off the rest of your CDC there, and there you have it.
There is your blue winged olive clink hammer. Uh, check us out, keepersoftheriver.com, for more fly time videos, gear reviews, blog, fishing report, and more. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.